welcome back to another drawing stuff video thank you to the user who left a question relating to the cribulation and lag times with regards to autoclave validation I will be posting a article on my blog about that as well as doing a YouTube video and also as part of that uh, producing some artwork which I figured I would uh, multitask slash be efficient and do the drawing as part of my daily drawing stuff project. So here we go. A couple of really, really, uh, what? Badly drawn autoclaves with regards to his perspective, especially when it comes inside of them. Uh, but the, the main goal here is to show an empty autoclave, which is actually supposed to be operational qualification and not installation qualification. Uh, alongside a loaded autoclave which would form part of your performance qualification uh, and I'm using this image to just contrast where you would use equivalation time which in a nutshell is during your OQ so an empty autoclave chamber and when you would worry about latency slash lag time for your Thlemo couples which is during your loaded cycle, so your autoclave pattern validations, which forms part of your performance qualification. So I'll might as well chat a little bit about that here, but I'll go into a bit more depth in the uh, specific science themed video. So basically what you want to do with an autoclave is determine the equivalation time, which is the time it takes your autoclave to heat up. So you do that by looking at the temperature probes, uh, and basically log the time between your very first probe that hits temperature versus the last probe in an unloaded chamber. So that just shows you uh, steam penetration, which shouldn't be too hard considering it's an empty chamber, and possibly a little bit of thermal load, or thermal load. So that's equivalent time. And then the lag time is the time it takes for basically the same thing, but when the chamber is loaded, so a bit more complex what you're doing here is you've got basically you pair up your thermocouples or your temperature sensors you place one sensor as close as possible but not touching to your challenge item and then you stick the other probe into the challenge item so here i'm using the example of a temperature probe and a shell glass vial full of liquid and that liquid could be actual product if you're doing um in process validation uh, slash routine revalidation and you're planning to release the batch assuming the autoclave cycle and everything else of course uh, meets spec or we could be doing this using the leftovers from your aseptic medifull trials so TSB in other words because uh, you'll have like at least 5,000 vials typically left over of those at each um, volume size so yeah so that's the scientific bit pretty much glossed over. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I've done the basically two boxes with uh, skewed single points perspective. So the vanishing points like on the opposite sides of the page for these two um, units. Uh, I did basically drew boxes in boxes and then some control panels and other panels and sort of implied piping. Uh, and then I went over with pen just to flesh things out and then I've used pretty much just a mix of greys to do the shading and because the magazines you use to hold your vials are typically brass so I've coloured that in in an orange and then finally I've given the shell glass vials a orange sorry a red cap so I've tried to show that both within the autoclave and on the little challenge image there so yeah that's a uh, quick and nasty scientific drawing of an empty versus a full autoclave and a even briefer explanation of what uh, equivalent time versus lag time is. I'll do a proper, uh, proper video uh, shortly. Here's a scanning image. Subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you later. Bye.